Hi, I'm Graham Roberts. From Wikipedia here, we can see that a linked list is a data structure with a group of nodes which together represent a sequence. In the sequence you can see depicted here, we are going from the number 12 to the number 99 to the number 37, and then we finish. We terminate. The reason linked lists are so useful is because they are very efficient in terms of insertion and deletion of what we call nodes. And the node is what you can see there. It's a place for the data to be stored, in the case of the first node there, 12, and a pointer which points to the next node in the list. How it points is not really of interest to us at the moment. But it will point to the next location, the next node. That's the link. Again in Wikipedia, I've gone to alphabetize, And we can see the basic order of the alphabet here, which is of course A to Z. Now, the little lines that are linking these letters in this order could be seen to represent a linked list, where the start of the list points to A and the end of the list would terminate with Z. Yet, if you were to spell a word such as aster, you would have to link the A, the S, to T, the E, and the R. Not in the original order, but a different order, a spelling. And so, as you do this, you need to rearrange the alphabet and extract from it, delete from it. So a linked list would be a perfect way to store the letters of the alphabet if we wanted to rearrange them into a spelling. If we had a list of names and we wanted to alphabetize them. We would say have Beth, Gareth, Cindy, John and Andy. We would have to rearrange them into alphabetical order. We could do this much more efficiently using a linked list than a static list. This is because a static list would have to be almost consistently and continuously rearranged and restructured, whereas with the linked list you can just insert and delete fairly easily. In this introduction to linked lists we're going to look at the code for a linked list in C++ and that's what we're going to do in the next tutorial.